In today's video, we will cover a very important editing trick using CapCut. So, that tricks in the end of the video. But our main focus will be on how to use animated icons like Nat in his previous videos. So, many of asked how we can do this. There are two approaches to do this. The first is very professional way which involves using software like Illustrator and motion graphics software such as Adobe After Effect. But I assume many of you don't have like don't familiar with After Effect or Illustrator. So I will share the simple way how you use these animated icons in directly CapCut. For this you need to have subscription of Inmetro Elements and Motion Array. If you have just one subscription that is also fine but if you have both so that is like pro package okay one thing so guys if you are starting and you don't have budget love for purchasing like in metro element or motion array that's not a problem so I downloaded some and some important that is mostly used in our videos I downloaded and uploaded into drive the drive link you will find into our discord server so link in description make sure to join and I will show you how you can download all the animated icons that I downloaded uh, from Inveto and uploaded for all of you guys. Last of the video will show you but for this if you have Inveto elements what you need to do you just need to click on to write animated icons and then search so you have some like these type of icons and one important thing always to make sure you need to click on alpha channel. So alpha channel means your icons don't have any background. You are free to use anywhere or any project you want to use. Okay. So alpha channel is main important thing. Once you click on alpha channel so all the icons like if I click on this. So it's alpha channel. Yes. Okay. So once you download icons for your CapCut or if you have a project that you want to edit in CapCut so you need to click on alpha channel in previous of your search or as well as when you download make sure its alpha channel is yes when it's yes so it's mean the icons have no any background so we can use uh, freely for into any our project okay and the second you need to go in a motion array and same search for animated icons once you search for animated icons here you need to click on overlay okay once you click on overlay so it's have like all the icons appeared have no background it's alpha channel so alpha channel means there is no background behind the icons for example you can download anything you want so here is the icon back of product management animation set you first need to read item details so in item details you check animate icon on a transparent alpha channel so alpha channel means it's transparent so here you need to read out okay as we checked is alpha channel yes so here is alpha channel no I already downloaded this for just showing you how we can download this type of animation as well into our CapCut is very smooth and easy way so that's why I download this but if you want to use like animated icons into your professional project into your client project so you need to make sure alpha channel is yes and in motion array you need to read out the item details animated icons on transparent alpha channel okay so there's the method you can download animated icon for your CapCut but let's into CapCut and we'll show you how you can use that is very simple way but it's uh, important as well so let me add in a background so after that I click on payment okay so once you check it's black okay so I already uploaded some GIF file into my Discord server that is animation. So many of you are curious about how we change color of the animated icons because I noticed some of like if I go with some videos or some animated icons that is mostly black and white. So if it's black so how we can convert into white. So for this you need to click on like video or icons that we need to change okay. For example this so you need to click on adjustment and after adjustment you need to click on curves in curves you need to go with highest value of brightness as I do in front of you okay so it's highest values of brightness is appeared so this time it's not look good but let me give one click more and you see it's properly white here is brightness so add this brightness okay so it's the magic you see uh, we changed our black icons into white that's the simple way so you can change color as well like if I add some temperature in it so it's 
down toward left so it's blue and if word uh, right so that is warm color something like yellow stripe okay so you can change okay you can play with temp hue saturation and after that you can play with hsl and then curves it's all depend on you how you can do this so it's a simple i show you how you can do black colors into white so one thing that is very important here is some gif files that i already uploaded to my discord if you go into animated icons and then the above here is some like drive link so you can download any gif files anything you want and use in your project so here i downloaded one icons from there okay and zoom out for example you need to uh, use into your short so you just like uh, let me add so i added this so here so i want to use into my shorts so black is fine if our background is white so black is fine but by chance if our background is black black is not visible so in that case what you need to do it's depend on your project colors and animation but the icons i uploaded you can do similar thing with all of these okay so you need to click here and then curves again we need to click on highest value of this brightness curve as you see but it's have background so what we can do simple thing just back to basic and then go to brightness i move slider into right side so you see the black color behind the icon is disappeared so you can use this icon in any project you want where you can download first is that is 300 plus icons in this drive so you can download from there as well and let me add some more in front of you so you guys can download okay i added already but not shared yet so let me share the link here is something like where it is so here some more icons that is startup lines icons is transparent the previous file that is 300 plus it's the gif file so you can download these and use in your project as well i downloaded from inverto elements and this is like so i shared okay in front of you so you guys can download copy link and done so let me upload here okay lines icons so here again i repeat it's 300 plus gif icons i showed you how you can use without like background and how you can change black to white okay and this one is lines icon that is transparent it's nothing behind background you just need to change the color if you want if you want black then you can go so okay as I said, I downloaded this. If you have this type of icons that have black background, so it's not a problem. It's very simple way to remove the black background. You just need to click on blend and after that click on this and you check all of this. That is perfect fit for your video. But this time I know it's good with screen. So many of like black backgrounds good with screen. So we can use as like see. Okay. That is totally removed as you see it's other simple way like uh, if i showed you one more thing so that is also same thing let me add one more money background so show you how you can use so like this how we can use this into our project one thing what guys you do cut out then chroma key and then black that is no good way to remove the black background in many of videos in many of like icons or projects is totally bad way to do with chroma key so simple thing you need to click on basic then blend mode again whatever the video behind okay you need to check all of these if the clip you need to blend click on the clip that i said you see i click on this money i download this from canva and then click on normal you need to check all that is best fit for your project like the video under this we can do with the picture as well so you simply need to click on this and then click on screen as you see it's blur it's added into screen and it's very good way to do i hope you learn a lot from this so if you don't subscribe this channel yet so please make sure to subscribe for more fire content okay so that's the simple trick you can do and one important trick with green screen as you see here is green screen so for green screen let me show you where you can download all of the transition anything you want to download you can easily download you just go to youtube 
and then search for Greenpedia. Once you click on Greenpedia and you can download anything you want that is green. There's a lot, a lot of options. Like Greenpedia is best channel for download the green screen things and use into our CapCut. So but one thing, so here uh, with the, let me add a clip with green screen as you see here. Okay. So how we can change, remove this green screen simply what you all of you guys like just click on this and this and this okay and the uh, strength is highest if you click uh, like if you see this in big screen so you notice here is the green edges is appear so it's not smooth way to delete the all this like uh, stuff green screen stuff so you can do this trick in all of your uh, videos as if you are using CapCut or any other software so it's the best way and smooth way to do so what we can do after cutout you need to click on adjustment then HSL after that need to click on green and then hue is minus 100 okay and saturation is minus 100 brightness is 100 once you do this okay so you see a big difference the green screen like the green dotted appear the edges is removed so this is the bonus trick for all of you guys i hope you like this complete informative video make sure to subscribe the channel that's all for this video thank you so much for all of your support